Hello everyone, how are you all? Hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to your favorite channel, Nurses, the Heart of Healthcare. Keep learning, keep growing. Myself, Shainaz. And in this short video, we are going to do one very interesting and important topic for all the medical professionals, especially those working in the emergency department and ICUs. Uh, it's not only helpful for the ER nurses and ICU nurses, but also helpful for a nurse working in uh, any medical uh, department, okay, because it can happen with anyone, anywhere, anytime, and having a clear understanding about this topic will be uh, very helpful to manage the condition and to help the people, okay. And the topic is seizures, okay. So seizure is a very interesting topic, but a very lengthy topic too. It is difficult to cover in one video. If I try to cover it, the video will become too lengthy and difficult to download then. Okay, so some of the viewers have suggested me that to make it short so that the download becomes easy. So what am I going to do is I'm going to uh, do this topic seizures in about uh, four videos so that the video is short and sweet and easy to download okay so in this video we will uh, learn about what are seizures some facts related to seizures uh, what is the pathophysiology what is exactly happening during the seizure activity in the brain and the causes of seizure uh, as per the age okay so let's get started but before moving ahead a small and gentle reminder to my lovely viewers that if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and if you find the content helpful please do like and share my videos okay and thank you so much for all my present viewers now let's get started with seizure guys now what are seizures seizure is a medical condition okay it is an abnormal electrical activity in the brain it is a sudden uncontrolled and synchronous burst of electrical activity in the brain between the brain cells the neurons or the nerve cells okay which causes changes in behavior movement feelings and loss of consciousness okay so this is in short what are seizures it's an abnormal electrical activity in the brain a sudden burst of electrical activity in the brain between the nerve cells or the neurons okay let's make it simple i'll give you a very clear example to understand it you know i think with this example even non-medicals will be able to understand what are seizures okay guys i'm sure you all have seen the traffic signal yes uh, just imagine a bigger traffic signal where you know about four to five ways are there okay so you know the traffic signal it works uh, when it works properly okay uh, it uh, gives a green signal at uh, one side and you know the vehicles keep going and all the other sides it is red signal okay they stop and then when this is done it gives a green signal to the other way and all the other side it is like red you know they stop so you know it works uh, properly when it works properly you know uh, there is no traffic jam there is no accident there there is no confusion there is no problem at all everything goes on very smoothly yes just imagine if there is a short circuit in this traffic signal if there is a short circuit in this traffic signal then what happens you know all the people on different sides of the road they will not be getting proper uh, you know signal like what they have to do whether they have to uh, keep moving or stop then you know there will be a big confusion and all the vehicles will keep start moving on all the ways and you know it will lead to traffic jam and uh, you know accidents confusion you know a lot of things okay so it is same way with the brain okay when the brain which is the control center of our human body when it works properly you know everything is in under control okay but when there is an uh, abnormal electrical uh, activity happening in the control center itself then there are changes in the behavior in the movement in the feelings in the level of consciousness of the person okay so this is what is seizure about okay and uh, now let us understand some facts about seizures seizures uh, the word seizure is derived from the greek word which means to take hold okay the word seizure is derived from the greek word which means to take hold and in olden days okay in olden days uh, in uh, many ancient belief in multiple cultures the seizures were considered to be a sign of possession by an evil uh, spirit or by a demon okay but uh, somehow and it's very you know thankful to god and thankful to the modern medicine that it has uncovered the truth about the seizure that you know it can happen with anyone anywhere anytime and uh, 
uh, you know it has uncovered many facts which have given us a very clear understanding uh, about seizures and it is helpful to manage it some important facts about seizures that we need to understand are like seizure they usually uh, they usually come on suddenly okay and how long and how serious they are it can be different it varies from person to person and a seizure can happen just once or over and over again when a seizure is repeated over and over again it is called epilepsy and when the seizure lasts for more than 5 minutes it is called uh, status epilepticus okay there are different types again we'll do it in the next video okay then uh, so when the brain cells malfunction okay and send electrical signals uncontrollably then a seizure activity arises okay and the seizures they are often treatable especially depending upon the underlying cause okay so these were some facts about the seizures that we must be aware of now let's understand what exactly is happening during seizure in our brain how it is arising or in other words what is the pathophysiology of seizures okay so what happens in seizure is see our brain which is the control center of the human body it has billions of cells called the neurons okay and all these cells they connect to each other to create an electrical network okay and these uh, network they make up and connect different parts of the brain okay we all know the different parts of the brain right so this network connect the different parts of the brain now seizure happens when the neurons they malfunction and electrical signals fire uncontrollably okay and the more the number of neurons uh, they get uh, you know affected the more intense or the more widespread the seizure will be and more bodily effects will be there okay so and if these malfunctions they continue to happen they continue to happen too often then it can affect the brain cells and how it works okay so with this what we are understanding is a seizure is nothing but it's a medical condition where you have a temporary unstoppable surge of electrical activity in the brain okay and when this happens the affected brain cells uh, uncontrollably they fire the signals to the others around them okay and this kind of electrical activity this overloads the affected areas of your brain and the overloaded uh, you know that overload can cause a wide range of symptoms or the effects okay that you can see during the seizure activity so during the seizure activity the person will have changes in the behavior and the feelings in the level of consciousness okay and these changes can be dramatic noticeable okay and it can be mild or severe okay and they can be no symptoms at all also sometimes okay so during the seizure activity the brain is activated by the seizure discharges and some people they call it as electrical storms in the brain as you can see in the picture yes that gives a clear idea it looks like you know some electrical storms happening in the brain okay so this was like uh, you know i was just trying to tell what exactly happens during the seizure activity in the brain okay the type of seizure the symptoms and all depends upon from where it is arising and the part and the part of the brain that is affected okay now let's see the causes of seizure okay causes of seizure they are many okay the first one as you can see over there it can be generally idiopathic means the cause is not known okay uh, in many people you know everything looks normal uh, the cause is not understood why the seizure activity happened and the next is fever febrile seizures as you can see usually in the kids okay when the temperature goes high like 104 105 103 degree fahrenheit then that you know the child will have uh, seizure activity that is called febrile seizures okay then genetic mutation okay sometimes the seizure activities they run in families okay if they have a family history of seizures then uh, that is understood that you know they also got it from there okay then head injury brain tumors or infections like meningitis okay then congenital abnormalities that means uh, the brain is not properly developed or the child is born with some defect in the brain okay then eclampsia like pregnancy complication yes and psychogenic seizures okay so these are some causes uh, more details are here regarding the causes some more causes i have you can see here uh, like acute stroke okay maybe hemorrhagic or non hemorrhagic stroke alcohol withdrawal alzheimer's disease then cardiovascular diseases electrolyte imbalance okay electrolyte imbalance this can also cause seizure then endocrine disorders fever 
heat stroke, hepatic failure, hypoglycemia, low blood sugars and uh, non, uh, non-ketotic hyperglycemia, infections of the central nervous system like encephalitis, meningitis and some medications like uh, phenothiazines, then medication withdrawal like barbiturates, benzodiazepines, renal failure, toxic conditions like uremia, traumatic brain injury and brain tumors. Okay, these are some of the causes of seizures. Okay, now let's see the causes of seizure by age at onset. Okay, in newborns, it can be because of lack of oxygen, hypoxia, low glucose, low calcium, low magnesium, infection, genetic sorry, predisposition, then maternal drug use or metabolic dysfunction in newborns. Okay, then next coming to the infants, I mean child. Children, it can be because of the fever, high fever, that is febrile convulsion, then infection, brain tumor, brain trauma, genetic predisposition again, okay, it can run in the families, as I said, then congenital disease and brain disease. And in adults, the causes can be brain tumor, brain trauma, brain disease, genetic predisposition again, genetic predisposition is a, like, you know, it can, it is a risk factor of um, any age, then stroke, drug and alcohol abuse or withdrawal, then in elderly patients, it can be because of the stroke, it can be hemorrhagic stroke, non-hemorrhagic stroke, dementia or, uh, you know, brain tumor, brain trauma, metabolic imbalance, certain uh, drug uses and infection okay that is meningitis so these are some of the causes of uh, seizures at the you know by age at onset it's very important for us to understand and remember all this okay fine so guys i uh, hope this video was helpful to you in understanding what are seizures some facts about it the causes and the pathophysiology behind it like what exactly is happening during the seizure activity in the brain okay so hope it was helpful to you then thank you so much for watching uh, please subscribe and like and share my videos if you find the content helpful then now next now thought for the day is maturity is when you have the power to destroy someone who did wrong but you just breathe walk away and let the life take care of them so guys, there is a deep message in that. Please try and understand. Don't waste your time in, you know, thinking about or taking a revenge. Okay. You know, let, you know, there is something called karma. Let, uh, even though you, uh, you have that ability and strength, you know, to take the revenge, but still just ignore, you know, take a deep breath, relax, chill and, you know, walk away. Okay, stay away from all the people who hurt you or who disturb your peace of mind and keep growing. You know, the best.